Last night on this show, I covered the story of Ray Carruth. I didn't feel it was necessary to go too much in depth. In fact, I just gave broad strokes and painted the outlines of a story of a man who was so cowardly and greedy that he would take the life of an on-again, off-again girlfriend and his child. Well, due to comments in relation to my coverage of that story, I feel it's necessary to go more in depth. See, Ray Carruth is a cowardly piece of shit that would take the life of his baby's mama, all because he wants to avoid child support. But not only did he do that, he lured this woman to her death by saying, I'm going to take you out to a movie. Then he had two of his friends lay in wait for her, drive up beside her car, and plug bullets into her vehicle. Now, four of those bullets hit her. She ended up in hospital in critical condition, but not before she was able to tell the police who shot her, what they were driving, and what they tried to do. Four days later, Adam succumbed to her injuries, but the baby survived. That baby's name is Chancellor Lee Adams. Now, unfortunately, Chancellor Lee Adams now suffers cerebral palsy because the brutal The brutal attack on his mother left his brain lacking of oxygen. Fortunately for Chancellor Lee, he had a grandmother, Sandra Adams, who was taking care of Chancellor every day, 18 years. So yes, yesterday, a former NFL star by the name of Ray Carruth left prison after serving 17, 18 years. He's 44 years old. He may be a totally different person than he was back when he was 25 years old when he committed this crime. His time has been served as dictated by the North Carolina Corrections Facility. And I totally get that. But this is what you need to get. A man that is so cowardly and greedy that he would take the life of his child and of his baby's mother just to avoid making payments just to avoid taking responsibility of co-parenting a child which he chose to create. And then once the jig was up and once the plan did not go according to plan, he hid in the trunk of a car, still trying to escape responsibility for his actions. Nah, miss me with how I need to have sympathy and empathy and compassion for Ray Carruth. Because I do have sympathy, empathy, and compassion. But then for the child, the child's life that was irreparably damaged by his own father. I can't think of a worse crime than someone who hurts a child, kills a child, or molests a child. So that's basically the Ray Carew story. The story of this killer, a work for hire, to destroy a woman's life, to kill her, take her life, and take the life of a child. That was the intention. We have people online right now who are defending Ray Carruth, talking about time served, talking about how we shouldn't be distracted by this story. This story runs and cuts to the root of all of us family men who care for our children, who would never, ever think of doing something like this. It spits in the face of good fathers out there who work hard to take care of their children, who are protectors not killers of their baby mamas or of their wives, and damn sure not of their children. Now, I understand that it's not up to me if Ray Carruth gets another chance at life. And you know what? Ray Carruth better be glad I don't get to decide if he gets another chance at life, because if it were up to me, the motherfucker wouldn't get another chance at life. His life would be as over as the woman's life he took.